Hi everyone! We've been talking about how it's important to feed our bodies healthy foods like fruits and vegetables. Today we're going to read a book that's about how to make a healthy snack called guacamole. Uh, I wonder if any of you have ever eaten guacamole before. It is one of my favorite foods. Um, so in this book we're going to learn about a little girl and how she makes guacamole with her family. If you want to hear a story say I do. If you want to hear a story, say, I do. If you want to hear a story, then you're sitting nice and quiet. If you want to hear a story, say, I do. Guacamole. Our author is Jorge Argueta, and our illustrator is Margarita Sada. I'm going to open up the front cover. Hmm. It looks like she's gathered up some ingredients to make her guacamole. Guacamole. A cooking poem. Um, this book has words both in Spanish and in English, but I'm going to read the English words for you. Today, I'm going to make you guacamole, I say to my mother and father and my little brother and sister. They stare at me with their big eyes that remind me of the green avocados in the basket on the red kitchen table. Right here, it looks like the artist has drawn her house as a giant avocado. Have you ever seen an avocado before? An avocado is a kind of green fruit. We'll learn more about it on the next few pages. To make a delicious guacamole that will leave your mother and father and your little brother and sister begging for more, you need four big avocados. One, two, three, four. Like green precious stones and two fresh limes, big shiny ones, round as crystal marbles. You'll need some cilantro leaves, green as a four leaf clover. You need salt, and that's all. Cilantro, boys and girls, is an herb. It's a plant that grows out of the ground and you can pull the leaves off and they make food so tasty. Ms. Walsh is actually going to grow cilantro on her porch this summer. First, Put on your chef's apron. Mine has balloons on it. With my apron and its balloons and little bird, I feel like a great chef. And I am one as I sing and dance around the kitchen. Guacamole is so easy to make. Why do you think she puts on an apron? Same reason we put on smocks when we paint. Let's to keep your clothes clean. Then I get my favorite dish. It's decorated with a garland of little red flowers and green leaves shaped like hearts. I feel like dancing, so I dance with my dish with its little red flowers and heart-shaped green leaves. <coughs> the avocados are waiting for me, so big and green and beautiful. I squeeze them gently with my hands and can tell that they are soft and ripe with their shiny, tender skin, like leaves in my garden after the rain. I wash them in the fountain of the sink, and then dancing and singing, I put them on the red kitchen table. Now it's time to cut the avocados. One by one, very slowly, cut them in half. This is what the avocado looks like once you cut it open. In the center of each avocado, you'll find a little ball, round as a small world. It's smooth and slippery like a slide. If you grab this pit too hard, it will slip. If you hold it too gently, it will fall. Don't throw the pits out. They are the seeds from which avocado trees are born. So inside the avocado fruit is a seed and you could plant it and grow a new tree. Take a spoon. Not too big, not too small. The spoon is like a tractor that you will use to scrape the avocado flesh. Scoop out all the tender flesh of all four avocados. Put the green avocado flesh in your dish. The empty avocado skins look like wash bowls. Don't throw them out. Set them aside with the pits. So you don't eat the skin of the avocado, just like how we don't eat the outside of an orange. So you take a spoon and you scoop out the insides and the insides are the tasty part. Now add salt, not too much. Sing to the salt as you shake it so that little spatters of white drizzle fall like rain on the green avocado. Salt, salty salt for my salt shaker. Salt goes in first. 
<coughs> now, with your tractor spoon, stir up the green avocado flesh. Move your spoon up and down. The avocado is getting softer. It's becoming guacamole. Take a little branch of cilantro. This is what cilantro looks like. It grows out of the ground like that. And wash it in the fountain of your sink. Why do you think we're washing our fruits and our herbs and our vegetables before we eat them? Cilantro and other and our avocados and all of the things that we're using, they grow outside. That means that they might still have dirt on them or bugs. And so we wash off fruits and veggies in the sink so that we can get all that stuff off. Um, it looks like a little tree. Wash it well, shake it off, and sprinkle water around the kitchen. Tear the leaves off your tree one by one and add them to the avocado. Mmm, cilantro smells so good. Mmm, such a fresh, such a green smell. I also love the smell of cilantro. <laughs> now, take the limes, which are also green and perfectly round. Take them over to bathe in the kitchen fountain. Cut the limes in half carefully, one by one. You are going to squeeze them with your hands over the avocado waiting in its dish. So soft, such a fresh smell, such a greeny green smell. Their sour little lime smell makes my mouth water. Mm, lime smells so good too. Limes are kind of similar to lemons, so they smell a little sour like lemons do. And when you squeeze it, it gets all over your hands and then your hands smell good too. The lime peel is soft and juicy juice comes out. Don't get it in your eyes, it stings. The juice that comes like tears from the limes. Ooh, the sour river of lime smells so good as it falls on the greeny green of the avocado. I laugh, I laugh river laughs, I laugh green laughs, I laugh lime laughs, I laugh guacamole laughs. Little pearls that look like eyes will fall from your hands. They are lime seeds. Pick out the little pearls that fall into the avocado with your fingers. So you don't wanna get any lime seeds in your guacamole. Don't throw them away. Lime trees could grow from them. Don't throw the peels out either. In your hands, they feel like balls whose air has leaked out. Put them with the seeds and the avocado skins. Stir everything together again, up and down with your tractor spoon. Stir it well, taste it. Sprinkle on more salt and stir and stir around and around. Sing and dance because food tastes better when you sing and dance. Yummy, what yummy guacamole. It's starting to look like guacamole now. Guacamole is smooth and it's all mashed up. Now, everything is green and juicy in its dish with red flowers and green leaves like hearts. Now, the guacamole is ready. Before you sit down to eat, take all the seeds and skins and peels into the garden. Plant them in Mother Earth so that more avocados will grow, more lime trees, more colors, more flavors. Now the time has come to call your mother and father and your little brother and sister to heat up the beans and tortillas and to sit down and enjoy the guacamole that tastes so fresh. Yummy guacamole, so greeny green, as pure as love. The end. Boys and girls, I like to eat guacamole with tortilla chips. If you decide that you want to make guacamole at home, I will include the recipe from this book. When I make guacamole, I make it a little different. So I might let you know how Miss Walsh makes it too. <laughs> Thanks for listening and have a good one. See you later.